are back with our Live Bright series. And this week, we are specifically looking at taking time to show others compassion. Whether it's throughout your day or just having time to really look and see where you can show God's love, we're talking about that all day. And I have a very specific question to ask all of you. So stick around and watch this. I know we're talking about time today and how to spend time showing God's love. But I have a very special question. How would you spend your money if you received $86,400 every single day? Now, the rule is you cannot save this money. You have to spend it all in one day or else it just disappears. You could buy maybe a brand new car or a famous Babe Ruth baseball. But you would have to spend that every single day. You might run out of things to buy. But what if $86,400 is too much for every day? Maybe you could spend $1,440 every single day. You could buy lots and lots of squishmallows or lots and lots of candy. That would buy you a lot of things. But again, you have to spend it every single day. And that could be difficult. Now, like I said at the beginning, we're talking about spending time showing others Jesus. And even though having all of that money would be really lovely, you do receive 86,400 seconds in a day. Or you could spend 1,440 minutes every single day finding ways to show compassion or show Jesus' love. And we have a really special Bible story that's going to tell us how Jesus spends his time. Like I said, I have a very special story for all of you. Jesus heals the blind beggar. Now, this story is super cool because it's one of the many miracles that we hear about in the Bible. But this story is really something special because Jesus stops and takes just a little bit of time to show mercy on somebody else, to show compassion and love. So we're opening up our Bibles. If you have a Bible with you, open it up with me. We are in the book of Mark, starting with the 10th chapter in the 46th verse. And it begins with Jesus leaving Jericho with his disciples and a large crowd of people. And Jesus hears over the crowd, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. But the crowd tells this man, the blind beggar, to be quiet. And they rebuke him and want him to stay silent. But he instead shouts out again, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus turns and says, Call him. Now the crowd around this blind beggar says, take heart. It is your time. Get up. And so he throws his cloak on, the beggar. He runs to Jesus and he goes to him. And Jesus says, what do you want me to do for you? And the blind beggar says, Rabbi, let me recover my sight. Let me see again. Let me be healed. And Jesus says, go your way. Your faith has made you well. And instantly, the beggar is now healed. He has his sight back. He is no longer in darkness. He can see. This exchange probably only took a few minutes tops. And just like we saw Earlier in our illustration with the money, you have 1,440 minutes every day. And this exchange with Jesus only took a few minutes for Jesus to show compassion and love. So we'll say three or five. That still leaves you with so much time, 1,435 minutes to spend however you want. But if you spent more time showing Jesus' love, showing compassion, taking time to see that other people need your help or need your love, then they could spend time 
looking and sharing that same thing too. And that's so much time we can give back to our community and back to our friends and family that they can then spread even more. And then we have created a community of love and joy and compassion. And that is what this week is all about. So take a few minutes out of your week this week to show love, show compassion, just like Jesus did to the blind beggar. Let your light shine before others that may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew 5, 16. Change and it starts Three. with me. One hand high. 